Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to apply an HDR toning effect to an image in Lightroom 4. Now this is the image that we're going to work on in this tutorial and this is the reason why I want to show you the HDR toning effect on this image because this is what it started out as being. Now I remember the morning in Paris, it was really quite interesting light but nothing in this image is giving anything of that impression. In fact, I've walked past this image quite a few times in my collection just thinking this is a whole lot of blah but this is how this image could look and it's done very very simply with a sort of HDR toning effect. So I'm just going to bring back my panels here inside Lightroom Let's get rid of this set of panels and I'm just going to the library for a minute. We're going to reset everything and we're going to start over with this image. So just reset it back to the way it looked when it came out of the camera. Now the first thing that I'm going to do with this image is actually get rid of this piece of hair or whatever it was on the sensor. I'm going to do that with a spot removal tool. Just size it to suit the size of the problem with heel enable because I really want to heal this I'm just going to drag to get rid of that and just click done. I just like to spot the image whenever I see something that's a real problem and that really is a big problem. Now I'm going to start working with these sliders where in Lightroom 4 and this has been up graded to that process version so we're seeing the sliders for highlights, shadows, whites and blacks and what I'm going to do, let's just show the histogram here, got some overexposed areas of this image. I'm going to start walking the highlights back because I want to get detail back into the highlight areas of the image and into the whites as well. And then I'm going to increase the shadows to boost the detail in the shadow areas and then boost the blacks as well. I want to increase the blacks in this image. So what I'm looking for is detail all around. I'm going to increase clarity because that's going to give me the crispness and that sort of faux HDR look in the image where we're getting nice crisp edges and boosting clarity is the way to do that. The benefit of boosting clarity in Lightroom 4 is that it doesn't tend to break up the image the same way as clarity boosting it that kind of amount would have done in Lightroom 3. I'll also kick up the vibrance because I really want this purple colour to show and I might give a bit of boost to general saturation but vibrance is really going to give me that additional colour in the undersaturated areas of the image. I'm thinking right now I might need a little bit of help in the exposure because I think the exposure is a little bit low on this and I might also boost the contrast as well. To finish off the image and really that's practically all I did to that image, I might come in here into this tone curve by opening this tone curve panel and then hitting it up here with a medium or a high contrast. That's just applying a contrast curve to the image and it's all automatic or you could also drag on the curve yourself if you wanted to but I'm just going to pick strong contrast. I might go back a little bit and maybe just adjust the exposure a bit as a result of having done that. So I might increase exposure just a smidgen on that image and I'll finish off with detail because I want to sharpen this image. I'm going to start by sharpening really really high level. I'm going to put a element in the image where I can actually see this sharpening effect. Probably the back end of the boat here with this sign is a good place to go. So I've got my sharpening amount really high. I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key and then just walk up this radius to see where I want it to be. This is adding the halos to the image. This image is relatively sharp already so I'm going to just use a small radius value. Now let's have a look at detail. I want to start to bring back any haloing in the image. I'll probably go for a lowish value on detail as well and then let's mask this. So the only thing I want to sharpen here is the elements in the image that have edges on them and because this isn't faux HDR I'm probably going to go a bit higher on the sharpening than I normally would. So I'm going to reduce the masking a little bit so more of the image is actually sharpened and then wind down the sharpening amount a little bit. So there's our image and let's just hide the panels. This is the before on the image. This is what it looked like. 
fairly boring sort of image, not anything that I would have given really a second look to. And this is what it looks like now, a whole lot grainier, a little bit gritty, a little bit faux HDR. I might finish it off with a vignette, but I'm pretty happy with that image. And that's done in a matter of a few minutes in Lightroom with this faux HDR toning effect.